Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm, I'm Dave Cohen. I'm a software engineer in uh, WebSphere application server in the cloud. And today I'm going to talk about um, some things I did passionately and obsessively, some people might say, uh, before I became a more sensible adult doing things like getting married and raising a family and so forth. But anyway, this is a picture from the east face of Long's Peak. It's a big wall. It's about 1,000 feet high. And it's at 14,000 feet um, on Long's Peak in, in, the Rocky, in the Colorado Rockies. So this climb is something that you hike in the night before and you sleep in a place called Boulder Field. And then you rappel down to a ledge that's 500 feet off the ground called Broadway. And there you start the ascent of this 1,000-foot wall. Um, that's myself up above and my climbing partner, uh, Mike Horner, the guy I went to, to college with. So on this particular climb, it took us probably about eight hours to ascend the 1,000 feet. And as we uh, got toward the top of the wall, um, a storm closed in and we kept going up the slabs toward the summit and as we got to the summit of, the, of Long's Peak, a lightning storm broke out and it was just literally at the worst elevation and we were just in the middle of the storm, lightning all around us and we just basically had to just walk out of there and just hope for the best. So we started heading down um, the south face of, of Long's Peak, and it was pouring rain. Uh, we were kind of getting mildly hypothermic, and um, it was the storm just continued. The, the lightning started to abate, and um, as we were heading down, uh, we stopped. We unloaded all our cl climbing gear, and we hid it under a rock. We were just getting so exhausted at that point. It was already probably 9 o'clock at night, and we'd been up since 4 in the morning. So we started heading down some more. And then at one point, we just started going. You know, we realized that our condition was a little bit dire. We were, you know, exhausted and cold. And um, we started yelling, help, 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 help. And suddenly from higher on the mountain, we hear, Help, help. <laughs> there are two other climbers who are climbing across from us on the wall on a, on a slightly easier route called the casual route. This route's called the yellow wall. And um, we just kept yelling help, and we eventually met up with each other. And uh, one guy was a fireman, actually, and uh, from Kerhonkson. And so we started, we formed a bigger group of four. We started heading down, but we really couldn't see anything. It was so dark. And we didn't know whether there was a precipice or what was coming. So we just started taking rocks and just throwing them down the side. And we would listen for them and whether they disappeared all of a sudden. And we would just keep working our way down the mountainside, listening to these rocks banging against the, the south face as we headed down. Eventually, we got to a valley. Um, at the base of Long's Peak, and it was about 2 in the morning, and the moon came out, the storm broke up, the clouds broke up, and it cleared, and it was actually very beautiful. I mean, you could see the stars. We walked out this valley, we headed all the way down, eventually got to a ranger station about um, 6 in the morning, so we've been going for 24 hours straight, and we were so exhausted, my friend Mike went to open the guy's pickup truck, and he just laid down in some guy's pickup truck on his seat. And I laid down on the floor of the men's bathroom and uh, called our friends up who were about 10 miles away at the ranger station to pick us up. They were in completely the wrong place. I mean, we were in the wrong place. And they uh, came and got us. And, uh, we headed home. So that was a major epic experience. Um, so thank you. And I'd done this, this wall about three times, climbed it first when I was 17, 
with a Canadian climber when I was a much more novice climber. And that's a whole other story. A lot of other things went wrong during that climb too. Okay, thank you.